Last year, I was informed of a prominent plant-based educator who passed away at the age of 51. The cause of death wasn't revealed, however, there was some information that pointed towards the cause being likely from cancer. Now, we know from this study that roughly 42% of cancer cases and 45% of cancer deaths in the United States are linked to lifestyle-related risk factors. And numerous studies have found that vegan, plant-based diets lower the risk of getting cancer. This study by Oxford University that looked at how diet affects cancer risk found that vegans have a much lower risk of getting the disease. This large study of almost 70,000 people looking at their dietary patterns and cancer incidents suggests that vegan diets are associated with a lower risk of all cancers combined, and particularly with lower risk of female-specific cancers when compared with non-vegetarians. And on and on it goes. So in light of this, you can kind of understand why Dr. Michael Greger was asked the question, if a plant-based diet is really that powerful, why do those on a whole food plant-based diet get cancer? So let's hear what he had to say. You know, it's like, uh, you know, wearing your seatbelt. Eating healthy is like wearing your seatbelt. There's no guarantee you're not going to die in a car crash. But we know from science that it significantly reduces your risk of dying in a car crash. And so when you see that, you know, for example, in the Adventist 2 study, vegans have, you know, more than 80% lower risk of getting diabetes. And that sounds really great. But you say, wait a second, diabetes is an absolute epidemic. Having 20% of the risk that affects millions of people, that's terrible. How do we get below that? That's amazing that we're 80% less lower risk of, you know, the black death of the 21st century. But that still means there's lots of vegans with diabetes. And so, you know, what can they do? How can we reduce our risk even lower? My next book is going to be on cancer. For cancer survivors, you've been diagnosed with cancer. What should you eat for your particular cancer? We have a lot of new data now on not just cancer prevention, but cancer survivorship. Um, and so I'm really excited to dig into all that. Um, and so I'm going to be able to answer that question uh, much better. Um, but the best we have now, or best that I know of, is, you know, the AICR recommendations, American Institute for Cancer Research, um, which has a list of 10 recommendations, some of which have nothing to do with diet, like stopping smoking, but their dietary recommendations are more plant foods, less animal foods, and uh, less alcohol. You know, look, just because you're vegan doesn't mean that you're not eating or being exposed to uh, carcinogens in our environment. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.